swear I left my boots. Ah, of course, Bruce tries to saddle me with a stray. No, oh, son of a. Well, looks like Tiny Dancer was telling the truth. They found you, Bruce. That, yeah, don't judge me, Grandpa. I'm doing my best. Oh, great Nana's flying machine. Still a thing of beauty. Can't say the same about her. Party crashers. Some head needs that brain bucket. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Good thing I don't have neighbors. They'd be so pissed off right now. You always love to make an entrance stark. How did I do? Uh, I'll give you a 7 out of 10. Good to see you, Georgie boy. Been working out? You any other billion dollar companies lately? Just yours. Hey! You're gonna pay for that window, Tarleton! This is your new place? I expected more mirrors. I got rid of everything that didn't spark joy. Guess what pile you're in? Turn the girl over, Stark. And that will get you off my lawn. Uh, Mr. Stark. I'm joking, kid. Just stay near the nice green light. The girl needs our help. Well, you know, she seems fine to me. Inhumans are sick. They need a treatment. Ah, do people actually buy that crap? How's Charlton controlling these machines? I don't know. He got powers after the accident. I saw him controlling a robotic spider thing once. Well, he's leveled up from spiders. <laughs> nice moves, kiddo. Yeah, Kamala. is he'll let you. No, I got this. 
Watch. Wait! You're not ready for... Or maybe you are. I'm surprised to see you and Banner together again. Well, Percy and I are seeing something about our issue. He's great. Short, stretchy, really good at guessing passwords. Watch your words. You no longer make the rules. He does. When I was young, I found an orphaned wolf cub in the forest behind our farm. What? Dad said it was too dangerous. He told me to get rid of it. I fed that cub. I named him. I watched him play with my beloved dog, Darwin. You're wasting my time. I felt if I could instill rules, the proper boundaries, I could harness the raw power of that beast. Have you done rambling? Almost. Oh. A few months later, while hunting, the adolescent cub turned on me, snarling, frothing at the mouth. Darwin bought me a few precious moments to call for help. My dad shot the wolf. But it was too late. Darwin had been torn to pieces. George. We need him. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Leave. Please. <laughs> 